everything starts to explode. Leaving only the star and Mario and his party. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. And we get the last star. And we send it up to Star Road. Completing the hexagon? Whatever. We complete Star Road. And now they all flash different colors. And now our journey is complete. We have done what we set out to do. We fix Star Road. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gino. The Star Road is back to normal, and... And kind of purple. Oh, Gino's so happy! Oh... And he sends them on their way! No! Gino, don't do it! I love you! Don't leave me! No! And Gino ascends into the heavens, leaving only the doll behind. And everybody puts on their sad face. Wait, what's this? There's his spirit! Oh, and it bounces for everybody! Thank you, Gino! We couldn't have done this without you. Mostly because of your Geno Boost. And now everything is right with the world. The Star Road has been put back together. We lost a good friend today. But really, he lives on in our hearts. And where we can't find him. He still lives there. But still. We lost him. And there we see the giant sword in Bowser's castle disintegrate. Because it died like a boss. Oh, and the sky cleared up. And I've never thought that Bowser's keep could look happy, but it did. Oh, and the star is fully patched up. Um, the world is covered in blue. And back in Nimbus Land, the prince is greeted by all his followers. Oh, he's so happy. Ah, one guy doesn't care. And then the world was covered in green. And Bowser was repairing his castle, and I freaking hate that little thing that was in the back there. That thing! Oh my god, I hate that thing. It took me forever to beat that thing. Whatever. Now I look back and it's like one of the easiest boss fights ever. And then the world was covered in orange. And Jonathan Jones was overlooking the sunset epically. And then the world was covered in purple, and everybody turned gay for a second. And Yoshi, don't, don't, don't go with Croco, man. He cheats. Oh, Yoster Island is back to normal, save for a freaking bandit. But that's all right. And the flowers have bloomed, and they're smiling for some reason. And then the world was covered in a darker blue.
and Todovsky was playing his music. Conducting an orchestra and frog fuchsias came up slowly and murmured notes to everybody when they forgot their lines. And then the world was covered in red. And my two least favorite characters from the whole game got married by the third least favorite character in the entire game. They deserve each other. And then the world was covered in yellow! And, oh, that's, that's not, that's not a flattering picture to anybody. But they thanked me for playing. You are welcome. And he, Mario winks at me. And thus ends the game. And this has been Let's Play Super Mario RPG. And Luigi makes his triumphant appearance in the game. Finally, in part, way too freaking late. Oh. So this game, man, this game, how do I feel about this game? This was a good game. I liked the game. For, for what it was designed to be, which is an introduction into RPGs, I thought it did very well. And there's JB, I don't know what JB stands for. No, Mallow, nobody likes you when you're symbols. And now apparently the tadpoles can float. So the game, I... I love it as an introduction to RPGs for kids, I'll be honest. For its time, it wasn't really received well by the general population. I hardly knew anybody that had this game or had even heard of it. I even picked it up really not knowing what it was, brought it home, played it, got pissed off, and sent it back. Um, but looking back, I mean, it was a really well-designed game with a l lot of RPG elements that were introduced that really most people at the time weren't necessarily involved in. It was trying to bring a new audience into RPGs while furthering a further story for Mario, trying to give him more of a story that he really didn't have at this point. Really, there was uh, Super Mario World, and that was pretty much the, the best Super Mario game at the time. I mean, uh, some people will say Super Mario World 2 was better. Yoshi's Story, I think it's called. Uh, the one with the baby Mario. But I liked, most people liked Super Mario World better, so did I. And really that was, that was the most epic uh, Mario game to the, the, that point. This game, I believe, is more epic. I don't believe it's necessarily as good of a game as Super Mario World, but it wasn't really trying to be in the same genre, so it's kind of hard to, to compare the two. But, really, overall, I'll give this game... Now, let's, let's do it in parts first. In terms of gameplay, I'm going to give it a 7. It was fun to play... I enjoyed how the battles were were handled. Even the the little action items, you know, the pressing X when when getting hit or pressing X while attacking. That well, not X A. Sorry, PlayStation have it. I, I enjoyed that to a point, but it kind of got tedious towards the end. I'm like, you know, just do your attack and do do the damage. It got annoying every time I missed it. Um, you know, it, it felt like that I wasn't doing it right. Whatever. In terms of plot, uh, I'll probably give it a 6 for plot. I mean, it really didn't have that much plot overall. Just, hey, this guy has 7 things, go get the 7 things. Okay, I can do that. Um, but in terms of uh, between each town, it really lit up. Knows how I timed that right? Lit up. Uh, it really lit up in in the towns when you got to see what was going on in that town that you need to fix, and I do like that. Um, in terms of the side quests, I'll be honest, I have to give it about a four, a three, or a four. Honestly, because most of the side quests were just tedious. Um, doing the Yoshi's Island quest that that I never got 
Um, I never got the hang of that. And then most of the side quests were just timing things right in battle or finding things that they really didn't want you to find or made really hard to find or something similar to that. Um, but they were still there and therefore I think that they, they put effort into that and I do appreciate that but I would have liked better side quests maybe go to a part of the world that you didn't need to go to instead of hey remember that one thing yeah do it a hundred times oh, okay thank you um, in terms of music I love the music I'll give it a 9 out of 10 on this one do love the music and overall I'll give it an 8 good game if you have time, feel free to look it up and play it. It is fun to play. Um, if you like Mario, you like RPGs, give it a shot. It was the first one. There have been a few after that, but this was the original one back for the Super Nintendo. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. I do have at least one bonus episode planned. I think you all know, if you're familiar with the game, what I'm going to be doing. I simply... well, being able to to finish that particular item would have made this ending way easier. And that is the beauty of getting the fireworks. Look at that. I got, I believe, three of them. I'll see what I can do about getting more. And I get a mushroom! Sweet. And... And now the screen is black. And there's my star. I think it's supposed to be Gino. Gino is ascending into the heavens. There he goes! Bring Gino back in another game! He was awesome! My favorite character in this game. The end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Once again, a couple bonus episodes are on the way. After that, we'll move on to our next Let's Play. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>